Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 363. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. I'll be flying solo for this week. And, well, let's hop into the news. First up in the news, Patton Oswalt shows off behind the scenes of scenes in his upcoming uh, Common Grounds episode. So, um, as you may know, this week's episode of Ponies is going to star Quibble Pants again and I got no idea about the synopsis from what I can tell Quibble Pants is trying to find a special Sampony and that special Sampony has a child hmm? I'm guessing and uh, it seems that uh, Patton Oswald's wife is involved uh, she'll be sorry um, Meredith mm, I'm bad with names but anywho um it seems that his wife, Meredith, and his daughter uh, is doing her first VA debut um, at the source wall. And yeah, these are behind the scenes pictures. So they are pretty cool. Like this is kind of the studio. Um, I'm not 100% sure about the chairs. Like um, usually studio don't have chairs, but I'm not sure. <coughs> and this is pretty awesome. Like. Um, Alice here is a big fan of the show and I think from what Oswald said um, she's probably outgrown it a bit probably not 100% sure but um, I do hope that when this is out she'll have interest in the show again or something like that so yay much awesomeness much awesomeness uh, can't say much haven't seen episode yet but it will be fun to watch especially when you know that Everybody involved in the episode knows each other and are kind of related. So yeah, uh, let's go to the next news. And next news, Fox grabbed Tara Strong for an interview, including uh, including ponies, yes. So usually Fox News, they're not the greatest. Like um, the track record with the bronies is not so positive in the past. <coughs> Sorry But anywho um, As we can see here uh, Fox News um, Grab Terra for interview and stuff And I'm just going to skim through the um, notes here And some of the questions were "In The end is near for My Little Pony Are you ready to say goodbye? Terra answered I don't know, are we ever really ready to say goodbye to the ponies? I'm sure there'll be some Equestria Girl special or something coming up, but it's a sad time. But it's also um, sorry, but it's also we're living on a high note and the show's so widely loved and revered, so I feel okay about it. <coughs> And um, let's see, here's another good one. What's your relationship like with bronies? Terra Strong answered, Oh, I've had many encounters with bronies and I love them so much. They're the sweetest, most supportive fandom I've ever experienced. I first learned about them on social media and I was quite surprised. And when you see them all come together, literally from around the world for people that are being bullied or for kids with cancer or other needs they'll just sorry they're just the most positive sorry they're just the most supportive adorable fan base and you meet them at cons and they're completely fun and silly and ridiculous with costumes and just unafraid to be themselves I just adore them so it goes on and uh, there's two parts of this like uh, there's the video where it's kind of general and I think that if you want to get more info the um, written interview here is a much more uh, what you would call this in-depth interview into her well stuff so anywho let's move on to the next one <coughs> sorry next news Vancouver's CBS, City News, and Vancouver is awesome reporting and of ponies. So, I'm just going to summarize things here because 
uh, there is a lot of things to go through here. Um, as we, as, as the show comes near in and we are greeted to a lot of news about the show ending and stuff and how positive it came to the industry itself. Um, I think I talked about this last week where the show has been uh, a boom for the industry. Uh, let's see, for this one. Um, today, uh, yeah, I, I think I read I read this one before. Yeah, today the HX Media has... Uh, so on. Um, okay, here's, here's the one. Uh, early on when the animation industry was booming here and the need for content was outpacing our ability to stuff it, it was a challenge to build our team says Sarah Wall, Vice President of Animation Producer at DHX Media. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh boy. But with My Little Pony, we were able to draw some great talent and keep on a lot of the same core talent that started on day one of the property. So, um, the synopsis here is that because of ponies, a lot of great talent came into the industry and Vancouver seems to be the place to be an animator, to be a voice actor, to do stuff with animation. So it, it goes on and on and it seems to be the same. Um, here's something from Ashley Ball. Uh, dig, 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 dig. Uh, it sort of blew up and became this movement," said Paul, who was met, uh, who has met many bronies over her years. Some of the bronies don't have friends before the show, and it brought them to their friends, friend group, and they're connecting on this new level, which I can say is true because with the show coming, sorry, before the show, you don't really have friends or your friend circle is smaller with after the show you know a lot of people you talk to them you go to cons and well it's much bigger now and yeah th this is just the same thing over and over again um, this interview here is pretty interesting I seen it it's a video and you guys should go check it out it's it's a fun um, what you call this news so anywho <coughs> that's it for the news and let's go for what have I been doing my week um what have I been doing my week uh, I was recovering from my illness here's the thing um I got sick on last Wednesday sorry previously um last week's Wednesday and I decided to visit the doctor on the Wednesday of this week I know, like I, I took medicine beforehand and it kind of controlled it for a bit, but I didn't have the right medicine, which was antibiotics. So yeah, I had to visit my local doctor, um, got some antibiotics and stuff. And if, if you notice that I have still a scratchy voice and I've been coughing a bit, yeah, so I need to take some cough medicines, but I really don't want to because it kind of makes me drowsy and if I do that now, I'll be bloopy and yeah, whatever. So, um, went to the doctor, kind of um, recover a bit and let's see, um, last Friday, um, well, yesterday, Friday, whatever it is, I attended Friday Night Magic for the War of the Spark draft. Got a lot of rare cards, by the way. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. Mm. Yeah, like I was saying, got a lot of red cards because people have been passing them around and I kind of took them because I like those red cards. Yay, red cards. <laughs> so, uh, what else? Other than that, um, I've been doing nothing much except for editing the review and discussion podcast. Uh, you're going to enjoy the new one which is um, the season finale for the YouTubes for the Patreons is the season 8 um, yeah season 8 retrospective so that's one for you guys to check out um, for uh, 
uh, other than that, nothing much. Um, oh, I played Dark Souls 3. There's something new, and that is something frustrating on its own. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, other than that, well, that's it for us week or for my week. Um, I think the other uh, project that I'm trying to do or I want to do is uh, Pokemon. De- Detective Pikachu is coming out this week. Hmm. <coughs> it's 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 confusing with times. But Detective Pikachu is coming out on the 9th of May. So I'm planning on going and watching it because I like Pokemons and yeah um, Ryan Reynolds Pikachu that's gonna be a blast and talking about 3D animation movies I seen the trailer for Sonic the Hedgehog that hmm it's not hmm I don't want to say it's bad but I don't want to say it's good it's in between where oh my god this is horrendous. But at the same time too, you see Jim Carrey and him playing it up and him tr- just having fun. It's like, at least you're having fun, Jim. Like, you're having fun. And I, I don't know what to say because the design of Sonic himself is... <sighs> there's so much wrong. I-, I think it goes from his legs to his hands and... I think just the proportion. The eyes, I don't really mind that much because, well, how do you explain a creature with one big eye and two pupils? One big eye and two pupils. That, that's the thing. Like, how do you explain that? Uh, some people might say, shut up, it's just video games. Yes, you could do that. But at the same time, too, when it comes to movies, how do you? Because uh, they mentioned that they're going to redesign Sonic and some people are screaming yay and some people are saying nay not because of the, the they like the original design but it says that <coughs> sorry um, they just mentioned that um, by doing this they're just putting more animators on crunch and technically they're not getting paid extra and whatnot and it's just a waste of time and they're not getting their dues so that's what I've been reading and I'm in between because I do want to see a redesign but I want the animators to get their dues so I'm 50-50 here so other than that I I can't say much Um, I will be watching that one because it's going to be a train wreck and who knows it might be fun right like you, you get to see Jim Carrey, sorry, Jim Carrey hamming it up and having a lot of fun and maybe they do a lot of great things. You, you know what I mean? I, I'll try to stay positive because it's going to be a fun movie and here's the thing. Um, even if it's not good, it'll be a talking point for the years and discussion review. So yeah, it'll be fun, right? Like sharing opinions, laughing at it and then like ha 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 and then like stuff. <laughs> anyway <coughs> Oh I need to take some medicines after this But anyway If you guys have any questions, concerns or suggestions for the show You can contact us at com. You can also reach us on the Twitters The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. If you'd like to support the show... Sorry, no. Um, if you'd like... Sorry, um, review and discussion podcast. That's a thing. It's available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Um, over there, we'll talk about movie uh, My Little Pony mo- <laughs> episodes, My Little Pony comics, My Little Pony movies and whatever's in between. Um, doing so will be myself, Civil Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, and also Torterra, where we just talk what we like. Um, I'm guessing we're overdue for a Ladybug episode, so um, might as well put that one in somewhere. 
I don't know. Probably we'll do some ponies first. Huh. I'm thinking um we may need to do um some animes. So yeah, that'll be in the future. So we have a lot to do. We we have a lot to do. As for now, focus on ponies, finish ponies and we'll get right back on schedule with season nine and stuff. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to review discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I'd like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Tristan, Starstream, Jeffrey, and also Master of Black. Thank you so much, guys. You are awesome. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya!